Hello everyone, it's Birdie here, the Recycled Hippie Chick. Welcome to Flip Through Last Friday. Um, I have put together four journals and they're all very similar, but I just wanted to do a quick flip through to show you what I've been up to and, uh, and so I can, you know, just show you what I've been up to. They're all the same covers like this because these are I don't know I don't think it's leather but it feels like leather I don't know what it is but anyway I have a whole stack of them that I had gotten at a garage sale the lady just gave me the whole box and I've got like 20 or 30 of them some of them are completely apart and some of them have the spine this one did not have a spine it just had the two covers so I built a spine out of uh you know, cardboard and, and uh, material and bound it that way. Put material clear across the front. I've got a little pin in here with a cluster on it. And uh, I, I put pockets on the inside of the front and back cover. I don't know why I'm showing you these like I'm going to sell them because I don't even have my Etsy shop anymore. <laughs> I mean, it's, I have the Etsy shop, but I'm not using it anymore. It's just, I don't sell enough to, to mess with it. Got a little booklet in the back. With a little tag in it from Trader Joe's. A flyer. I think you guys saw me start this on one of my videos. Yeah, this is my Sherlock Holmes. And it's in its little pocket. And I'll just flip through it real quick. I've got one of these, I don't know what they were, like back in the 50s or 60s. I don't know if these were for pin curls or they have this little thing on them. I think maybe they, did you wind your hair and then flip this over to hold it in? Or were they have were they for perms? I don't know. Of course they wouldn't be for perms. You wouldn't put a metal clip in your hair for a perm. Anyway, that's what I've got holding my little envelope in my little card in with like that they've each got three signatures with seven pages each so I think there's like 84 workable surfaces in them this here is a project that I did with Bonnie and Clive uh, she got me hooked on these, making ruffles. She just took a piece of paper and glue all of her scrappy little bits down the center. And then she took them to her sewing machine and pleated them and sewed them. I just laid them all in a big pile over here. And as I want to sew one on a page, I just pleat it as I go. So yeah, I made like 30 of those pages to play on. Little cluster tabs, pockets, and tags in the pockets, another little pocket, and a cluster tag, another little pocket, I don't know, I try to put like three pockets in each uh, signature, I don't know, I don't know why, it's just my thing. This pocket here I made out of a tomato seed package. And this is a little tag. Belly band with a little picture in it on coffee dyed paper. here I think this little magazine page I learned how to do I don't know if Janet Nash taught me how to do that one I don't remember I watch so many I don't remember who I see what I better get to whipping I'm, I'm gonna I want to show you I'm gonna, I probably won't go through all all three of them because, you know, they all three have like three pockets and all that. 
I tried to throw a belly band in each one. But if you are interested, if you would like to have one of these, private message me, and I would sure make that happen. I've got so many books, you know, stashed away. If you said, hey, I want one, but I want you to show me all of them so I can choose which one I wanted, I would sure do a private video for you and run through them all so you could see them and pick which one you wanted. Um, I would probably do, these books are probably $45. So if you happen to be interested in one, let me know. So I have this kind that I you know, did the the binding on because the, the um, what do you call that part of the book? The spine was gone. Now this one here had the spine, but it was not attached. So I attached it with cloth and then on the inside, I just built a whole new spine clear crossed out of material. It also has little pockets and all kinds of, you know, stuff on all three signatures. And they all have little dingle dangles. And this one, hi Cooper Pooper. This one here, it just had a partial spine, so I built the rest of it out of cloth. And on this one, I put a dingle dangle up here and a couple dingle dangles down here. So see this one here, I really took some, uh, what do you call this, blue jean material and I really buffed up that so that, you know, since it's hardly anything here, I wanted to make sure it was really sturdy. I did not put a pocket on the inside of the this one. I may still do that. I may still glue a pocket on the inside of that. So anyway, they're all just really fun, and I wanted to come on and do a quick, quick flip through Friday to show you what I've been doing. I have another one, but I don't have dingle dangles on it yet. It's sitting over on my jewelry counter saying, hey, lady, get over here and finish me so I can join the others. So that's what I'll do when I hang up the phone here. And a uh, cute little bag. You could cut that open or you could use it as a little tuck or you could do whatever you wanted with it. Anyway, they're so fun to make. And I have been making journals and just sticking them in my drawer over there till I can figure out how to successfully sell them. And uh, yeah, that's what's going on in my neck of the woods. Have a good day from Birdie. Bye-bye.